Hi, I'm Sevin Jabayrak. And I'm Aral Göktaş. We are the founders of Star Architecture and Ideas based in Istanbul. We are also the creators of this year exhibition in Turkish Pavilion in La Biennale, which uh, the, the name of the exhibition is Ghost Stories, the Carry Back Theory of Architecture. So can you tell us a bit more about the theme and why did you decide to, to look at abandoned buildings? Well, the theme was, uh, this was something we were already t uh, working in the office uh, for a couple of years to transform abandoned buildings. And then in 2021, we had this uh, swimming pool project that we transformed to a public uh, events hall. And then while transforming that project, we started thinking about this uh, theory of uh, un abandoned buildings, how to use them. And this uh, idea of writing a, a carry back theory of architecture was uh, just came out at that moment. And then uh, when it was a time to apl apply for the Biennale, we thought that this is a kind of a global, both a local issue to have to transform abundant buildings. So we think to expand this idea, both theoretically and both in the how it resonates in the architectural practice. And can you give us uh, more info on this problem, especially in the context of Turkey? Actually, Turkey is a construction addicted country. That's why we uh, built uh, not for special needs, but for economic or political reasons. And uh, as a consequence we, have, consequence, we have lots of buildings which are not used. Uh, and the more interesting thing is also not only the numbers, but also the variety of these buildings. There are lots of different typologies, like airports, uh, shopping malls, hospitals, schools, amusement parks. And that's why uh, it, we thought that it would be interesting to, le to look at this variety uh, in the pavilion. And I know that you've said that before, but apparently it's very common for people to accept unused buildings and cities. Can you tell us why you think so? Well, it is also, for us, it's interesting because an empty plot in a city, has never, it never stays undiscovered, while an unused building can stay for years. No one just notices that. That's, that's the reason we named it Ghost, ghost Stories. Uh, but then uh, we are thinking that we are coming kind of an era of uh, reusing these buildings. We have to reuse them in, because of this economic crisis and ecological crisis. So this is kind of a very hot topic all around the world, not only in Turkey. Uh, and, and also the discussion is always around, is it beautiful or ugly or good or, or bad situation? But we try to see them as resources, not like uh, style, not to categorize them at, according to their style. So if you see them as a resource, uh, so then the transformation idea can be much more easier without any uh, prejudice. And since we're talking about crisis, like how do you relate this also to the general theme of this year's Biennale, which is the love of the future? Well, we are thinking that in, because we have a lot of examples of these buildings all over Turkey, not specifically in the, let's say, in Istanbul, Ankara, in the main big towns, but spilled all over Turkey, Turkey we thought that this is, these buildings are the laboratory of the future for our cities. And we really have to think how to transform them and how to not neglect them as we were doing for a while. Uh, we kind of related to that uh, the main theme with this uh, like activist way of transforming existing buildings. And basically this exhibition started with an open call that you did in December 22 uh, aimed at compiling recent documentation of unused buildings. Can you tell us a bit more about the process and about how people contributed to the Turkey Pavilion? Actually, when we started the project, we didn't want to go and take new, like, shiny photos and videos of the buildings, because also that's uh, making something from the scratch, a new thing. But we thought that maybe instead of uh, using this, the, that kind of strategy, we thought that maybe we can make an open call so we can collect the existing info. So this idea of transformation thing is not only about buildings, but also maybe like the ideas. So we, collect, we made an open call, so we, ex, we wanted to expand the also discussion, because it's not only about architects, but it's all about community. Uh, and then we thought maybe uh, from this open call, we collected like 900 photos and also some videos, and we displayed them in the pavilion. So it's a collection of ideas. 
And also we were surprised because there was a great interest from people who are not also architects, designers. And then we realized that these were really not like the ghosts because people are, uh, they, they kind of see them, but they don't know what to do with them. So. Uh, in the exhibition, we have these two uh, two divisions, like the one, the cloud on the ceiling. We show the uh, outcomes of this documentation of the open call, mm -hmm. that these ghost stories uh, of abandoned buildings. And on the workbench, we show tools, strategies, and methods and discussions how to transform them. So we don't want this exhibition to just draw a dark panorama of uh, abandoned buildings, but also a hopeful future to discuss how these buildings could be the future of the cities. And what are you proposing for the future? Uh, so we uh, we have a manifesto and um, a book that is the base of the theory in the uh, pavilion, in the exhibition. And one of the uh, articles of the manifesto, it says that it's the people who keep buildings alive. So. Uh, we want in the future that we want that pe people are more uh, aware of this power of keeping buildings alive uh, rather than neglecting them and or rather than uh, waiting for actions from like authorities. Uh, it's our demands uh, in the future that will keep these buildings and cities alive in the sense uh, how we uh, imagine them. And also we made a video uh, which is called Test Drive because it's extremely important that, to show people how this can be a glimpse of uh, imagination, how these buildings can be transformed. And we uh, trained an uh, artificial intelligence. And at the beginning, it was very interesting that uh, when we uh, upload the existing image, it uh, immediately demolished the existing thing and made a new one. So it took some time also for the artificial intelligence to train it. And only with a simple and small uh, um, uh, interventions. changes, interventions, it could make uh, something lively. So it, it was really interesting to see this process. We, I'm sorry. Yeah, and you mentioned uh, before that there are many typologies of abandoned and unused buildings in Turkey. Can you tell us a bit more, like, what are these different typologies? Is it just residential? Is it more public space, uh, public uh, facilities? Of, uh, in the exhibition, we have a variety from theme parks to hospitals, to housing, hotels, and etc. But I think uh, throughout these three days, the most interesting uh, one will be this theme park uh, that we are presenting here, which is uh, which costs eight hundred million dollars, and it only stayed uh, stayed open for uh, ten days because it was built on a muddy area that no one could construct. Uh, and it's a new construction, not like a couple of years ago. So what is interesting in the exhibition is that we don't have, I mean, we have uh, examples from different time periods, like for five years before or 50 years before, and with different typologies. So uh, we, we really consider all these uh, bu uh, buildings to be transformed in a sense, in a strategy, that this, the city, what the cities and the people need will, uh, will be responded by the transformation of these buildings. And finally, what do you hope to communicate to the general audience with this intervention for people who are coming and checking uh, your pavilion? Uh, I think we, we as architects, we, we, we still believe that architecture has a power to do something. And the statements of Lazy Locos, hope is a very powerful currency. So I think we really think that instead of looking at them as a burden, we really need to see them as a resource and uh, imagine how they can be transformed and maybe solve these inequalities in the cities because most of these buildings are public buildings. So instead of uh, keeping them abundant, maybe the, the local authorities can transform them into libraries, community centers, or this kind of buildings so that these inequalities in the cities might be also some opportunity to be uh, discussed and solved. We will be happy if the visitors could leave the exhibition uh, with this feeling of, of hope and also feeling of power that they could do something mm -hmm. for these buildings that to keep them alive and uh, make them uh, not the ghosts of the cities but like the lively um, li organisms of the cities. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.